Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from Weartesters.com. Today we have the performance review of the Nike Hyperdunk 2015. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Full length herringbone was used on the traction pattern and this is one area of the shoe where I literally have zero complaints. I use these guys indoors, then outdoors, then indoors, then outdoors and back indoors again. And no matter what, these guys stuck to the floor like glue. Dirt, dust, debris, leaves, all that stuff, doesn't matter. This shit was awesome. I loved it. This is probably the best traction that I've had on a Hyperdunk since the 2013. Cushion on the other hand, pff, straight ass. And I'm not trying to be mean or anything. It's just the easiest way for me to put it. It's just that the cushion just sucks. Zoom Air is one of my favorite Nike cushions and it's one of my favorite cushions of all time. Except in this recent stuff, man. I don't know what they're doing, but they are just not bringing it. I mean, I don't know where they're going wrong with this. Obviously, the midsole here, the foam that they use is dense as shit. So that's definitely not helping anything. But the Zoom units are actually top loaded. Like, you can pull the insole out and then feel the units in there and when you press on them, they're hard as rocks. One of the most uncomfortable rides from a cushion perspective that I've had in quite some time. But if you're looking for Zoom Air and you want to experience the real deal, either pick up those 2011 Hyperdunks off of eBay, look for a pair of Jordan 13s, or even a pair of Jordan 12s. But this shit right here, this is not real Zoom Air. This is garbage. The materials on these guys are pretty nice. I was really surprised by that. Basically, you have a textile. It's hard to see because there's a big old print all over it, but it's kind of like a mesh material. It could be woven for all I know. I'm really not sure about that. Then they have fuse overlays at high wear areas, which you can kind of see right here on the toe. And they also have it around every eyelet as well as the top. Now, it's not super soft like a mesh would be. It's got a little bit of like a rigidity to it, if, if that's the best word to call it. But when you look inside the shoe, you can see that it is all a material it's not plastic so i think what they did is they covered everything with glue like they did with the kobe 9 elites what i do like about it though is that it's rigid enough to be supportive but it's not to the point where it's uncomfortable like a fuse might be and it breaks in really well as well uh, the more heat that your foot has with this because it's not very breathable at all the more it bends and moves with your foot which is something that i did enjoy and if you're looking for a shoe that's going to cater towards all positions like the hyperdunk tends to do this was the best way to go as far as their fit is concerned i went true to size i think they fit me perfectly now this is the low top version as you can see when i tried on the high top version those things were horrible they have these little like circle things that go up the collar area of the heel and then they had this really sharp fuse that went around the seams and those literally felt like they were going to just slice my achilles in half so i was waiting on a low top pair because i wanted to try those on there was no way in hell i was about to wear the high tops after trying them on and feeling that stuff and these guys they felt great they don't even feel like a low top honestly they fit more like a mid so if you're not really a low top kind of guy you're kind of scared of low tops don't worry with these guys because they're not a true low and they have plenty of support as well so if you're looking for something that's just kind of in between this is the way to go plus if you wear an ankle brace or whatnot this is going to fit a lot nicer than that high top collar would as far as the width i felt that they were fairly neutral i didn't feel that they were overly wide or narrow if you have a wide foot i definitely try them on though they're available at most nike basketball retailers i mean we're talking like even lower tier retailers like dicks and sports authority so there shouldn't be a reason why you can't find these somewhere and try them on but if all else fails you just can't find them wherever you are in your local areas just go true to size and hopefully they fit and as you may have guessed supporting the hyperdunk is actually pretty abundant like i was saying earlier the material itself is rigid but not to the point where it's hard so you're getting enough support within the upper itself to really contain your foot i know a lot of people bag on fly wire saying that it doesn't work sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't in this case it actually does what it's supposed to do you got to think of it as suspension so just like bridge cables it's kind of keeping everything on this area this platform here the midsole or the tooling and when you're moving it's moving with you but it's also making sure that you don't go past a certain point so it's keeping you safe putting all of that torque and pressure on these things will cause them to snap eventually in this particular setup where it's in between the material i don't know if it'll happen but it's always possible something that you'll notice is missing from the exterior of the shoe is an actual shank plate but it is inside it's their little original bar that they put in most of their lower tier models it does its job well no complaints there and their giant beefy heel counter right here this thing works really great but it's hideous so pick your poison if you don't like the way it looks at least it functions now my favorite part about these guys is the actual tooling or the platform you can see here that it sits just slightly wider than the actual upper so you're kind of like cradled into it even though there's no real outrigger here it's still wide enough of a base or platform to where you're not going to be rolling over you can kind of see that it's almost like a built-in outrigger it's a really cool setup they don't do it too often the last time i remember them really doing this was for like the hyper rev series and i really just like how this is it's not in the way or anything like that it just kind of is there it does its job along with the bottom of the shoe which is just a straight up flat you know base here so there's no room for error basically when you're gonna like have a potential to teeter or totter 
are over. Teeter or totter, is that a real thing, teeter totter? So it lessens or minimizes your chance of rollover. Unless you land on someone's foot, then you're f***ed. So overall, I had really high hopes for the 2015 edition of the Hyperdunk, mainly because they said that they were putting Zoom back in the shoe. So, you know, that was one of my favorite cushions from the Nike brand. The last Hyperdunk that had Zoom Air and the heel and forefoot was the 2011 edition, and those things were totally awesome. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. These guys pretty much had everything going for them except the cushion, and that's just a huge letdown, especially for someone like me where I'm really needing cushion nowadays with getting older. So basically the cushion on these guys is so bad that I wouldn't even put them in a rotation. I would have returned them had I not had to do a performance review and the only reason why I kept wearing them is because I needed to wear test them properly in order to give the performance review. Yes, you can definitely put an insole in here. It will help out with things as far as the cushion is concerned, but for $140, should you really have to? So Nike's gonna have to step things up because this type of stuff just not gonna cut it anymore. This used to be a top tier team type of model. They still price it as such, but the cushion, I mean, Come on, dude. Whoever wear tested this didn't do a good job because if they told you that these guys were comfortable, they lied their asses off. But other than that, that pretty much takes care of it. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. Make sure to stay tuned for the performance scores. And until next time, guys, have a good one.